Hey guys, it's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mount the Solar 12K outdoor, to, or or you could probably do the same with a indoor to the wireway. This is a 10 by 10 wireway. It's an indoor wireway. Make sure you order the caps. They usually come separate with an indoor wireway. There's a difference between an indoor and an outdoor wireway, and you may hear a wireway referred to as a gutter. Uh, they might call it a raceway. They might call it a a duct. There's a lot of different names for it. But we've already got the wireway mounted securely on the wall and the next part is going to be uh, installing the solar converter on top of the wireway. How I hang it, how I make the penetrations, that kind of thing. So once you wrestle your solar out of the box and get it up onto something, I got it up on my bench, uh, you're going to look at how the uh, Back, the bracket fits onto the solar arc. Now they do show you in the manual. They give you some information. They tell you the distance from the bottom of this thing or from the center hole of the mounting to the distance of the center hole of the bracket, but they do not give you the distance from here to the center hole of the bracket. And that's going to be very important because you need to know what the what the what that distance is so you can figure out your conduit nipples or or whatever however you're going to connect your conduit from the bottom of the solar arc to the gutter the knockouts are on the bottom of the solar arc and so in order to know what that is which is your total distance you need this number which i'm going to go ahead and tell you is 24 and 7 eighths from that hole to the edge of the solar arc there's probably at more accurate millimeters but i'm not going to do that one 24 and 7 eighths from the hole center of this hole to the bottom of the solar arc. So you'll notice I'm not going to knock out every single knockout. I'm just going to use what I need on here, but this is what you have on the bottom of the solar arc. So I'm just going to be using a screwdriver and a pair of linesman's pliers. You could also use a hammer or anything you want, but uh, I'm, I'm just tapping the knockouts. I have a uh, pretty big screwdriver here. You know, the knockouts on the solar arc, they come out pretty easy. I just loosen them up and then twist them out. But uh, one thing you don't want to do is don't flip it upside down and do the knockouts. Because if you were to drop one, you would uh, drop it down into the solar arc. This is just another shot of what I'm doing. Some of you guys have never knocked out a knockout before. So it's pretty easy on the solar arc. These knockouts are pretty easy to do. Not like on a square D panel. So I'm going to be using set screw connectors and uh, short pieces of EMT pipe to connect my solar arc to my wireway. Uh, these are the set screw connectors. They're just a lot quicker than a compression connector and that's all you need for indoor. Um, if you're doing outdoor, obviously you need a rain tight uh, set screw or compression connector. Uh, I like to leave just a little bit of pipe in between. You can see on this transfer switch right here, uh, there's barely any pipe showing. I think it looks better if there's a little pipe there. And you know, one of the reasons I'm doing it the way I am is so that it does look good. I want it to look good. Um, went ahead and took my measurement. Remember, I told you it was 24 and 7 eighths from where the bracket, the center of the holes on the bracket, to the bottom of the wireway or the bottom of the solar arc. So 24 and 7 eighths plus 3 inches, which is what I've kind of decided I want my, uh, I'm calling it a nipple, but my length of my pipe assembly to be. So it's 27 and 7 eighths. So I went ahead and Pull the tape all the way down to the wireway, 27 to 7 eighths, and mark that with the level. Guys, the smaller the line that you draw, if you use a fat permanent marker, you're introducing margins of error. This is a thin permanent marker. A pin's even better, but it wouldn't have showed up. Okay, guys, so I just cut seven three-inch nipples, and just to, the, my cuts aren't super straight. They don't have to be. Um, I cut them a little bit short, so you have some play. When you go to put the connector on, as long as that set screw, it, the, this this goes all the way to there, and as long as the set screw is tightened down on there, you got a little bit of movement inside of that fitting. So that'll help you when you go to match everything up, and uh, you just tighten that down. But you, there's a little bit of movement there. It's okay to have a little movement. 
So these are all about two and three quarter for a three inch nipple. And um, you can, you gotta make sure you ream them. I have a reamer. You can use a reamer like this. And then you go around the outside with something else. Uh, you see a lot of, lot of electricians just use a pair of uh, channel locks. These are Knipex. Um, they work pretty good. They're really sharp. I ream the outside of the pipe as well. If you have an auto reamer, this is a great tool. Um, see how it looks right there. Put it on there. Always use it on an impact driver. It comes out super smooth. Always works. Works really well. That just keeps the wire from getting uh, chafed. So after you cut it, and you can cut it with a hacksaw you, if you really want to be there till next Tuesday. Sawzall if you want to be dangerous, or we always use a bandsaw. I got a portable bandsaw, so there's that part for you. And this tool does both sides at once. This is a Klein Tools Reamer. Works pretty good. Okay, so I now have my bracket up on the wall and uh, I use some sleeve anchors. These are sleeve anchors. Um, this is a heavy inverter. It's close to 100 pounds, so you, you want to use something that's really going to hold. This is what a sleeve anchor looks like. Uh, if you don't know how to attach to the wall you're attaching to, then you probably shouldn't be doing any of this. But if it's concrete, sleeve anchors work good. If it's uh, wood, just use a really good lag screw. And um, go ahead and make sure that that thing is, uh, I've made sure this is level. Next thing I'm going to do is make my holes for my solar arc. So you can use a level and a uh, square or any way you want to do it, but you can use a level to transfer and find the exact center of that bracket, which I've got it marked right here on my wire way. And when you do go to hang the solar arc on, there's about a quarter inch of play. You can move it either way. But the next thing you want to do is figure out where you're going to put your holes. And uh, there's a couple of different ways to do that. Now I do this all the time, so I actually have a template. You can buy this template, which fits perfectly on the wireway, and all you got to do is center it up, and that'll give you a really quick way to mark out your holes. Looks like I got that backwards. There's the template. If you don't have a template, you can take a 5 30 second, seconds um, Allen key, and you can pop off the back uh, brackets, and I'll show you what you can do. So if you decide to take the feet off and go low tech with it and you don't have the bracket, make sure you put the sole arc uh, level and uh, you know have somebody hold it level off the wall where it'll be with in relation to the bracket and with the feet included. And then um, you want to put something inside the wireway so the wireway doesn't collapse with the weight of the sole arc. Obviously the wireway needs to be able to bear the weight of the sole arc if you're going to do it this way. Then you can easily transfer your lines onto your wire way. Now even though I've traced it, I like to take a square and mark the center on equal parts so that uh, all my holes line up even better. Obviously I take a lot of time. Okay, so once you've checked and double checked, you know your holes are right. Guys, I love these Milwaukee Thin Metal, they're sh the Shockwave Impact Duty Thin Metal Hole Saws. This is a three pack I got at a junk store. I got a deal on them. But these things cannot be beat. Uh, a three pack is around $30, but you're going to get a lot of holes out of these, or especially for electricians. Uh, even though it's impact, it says impact on the package and it says it's ready for impact, I use a drill. I don't use an impact driver. So find yourself some hearing protection and go to town. step 
Go ahead and put each one of your little conduit stubs into your fitting that you've already, you already tightened the bottom fittings down. So they're tightened down underneath. And I really do try to get them tight because you're, you might be wanting this to bond everything together. So the tighter this, this tooth is on the can, the better the bond it's making for ground faults and whatnot. Uh, so we're gonna leave this where it can move. And as long as this set screw is not, you know, coming through and hitting the wire, as long as it's, it's hitting on the conduit, then it's okay, it can move a little bit. You want to be able to move this up and down because it's really hard to have these all the exact same height. So you're going to be able to move this up and down a little bit after you set your solar on here. So I've got my bracket up, i got my holes cut, i got my nipples cut and um, reamed and i got my, all my connectors on, i got my bottoms tight and now I just need a gorilla to come in here and throw the solar on the wall for me. Okay, for this next part, it's really nice to have a second guy, but if you don't, you just got to be thankful the Solark has handles. Go ahead and put it on your bracket, and that one just popped into place beautifully. And the last thing I do is align all my connectors so that it sits down nicely on the gutter. You can see there's a little bit of play now, but it's sitting perfectly. Let's see if she's level. Nice and level, nice and straight. So there's how you do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I hope it helps you. And if you're interested in solar installation in the southeast or you want to purchase arc lithium batteries, solar inverters, solar panels, consulting, design, anything like that, just give me uh, contact me through this site and I will help you.